an 85 year old man who presented to the clinic with the complaints of weight loss backache for last 7 months but he has no urinary complaints like dysuria hesitancy on abdominal examination it was unremarkable while during rectal examination it has been found that one lobe of his prostate was hard and nodular now how we dissect this case let's look at the keywords the keywords are weight loss backache and a duration of around 7 months and then denial of urinary symptoms what are those symptoms there is no difficulty in urination there is no painful micturition and there is no hesitancy of urination and on examination a hard and a nodular prostate now who's my patient my patient is an 85 year old male so now with all these facts what comes to my mind maybe i'm suspecting that this person this gentleman is having a problem with his prostate it could be a malignant one because if it was having a problem with the urination then i was thinking about benign condition of the prostate but here it's very clearly is telling me someone who presented with weight loss and backache and hard and nodular prostate so the working diagnosis which might come after this history and examination it can be as if i'm dealing with the cancer of the prostate so now look at it pay attention on this image of rectal examination and here we can see what you can see here this is the bladder and this is my prostate and this is the finger of the examiner and this is the rectum look at this finger where is been looking at it can you see this area which is enclosed in the circle i'm doing it again for you so now this is a nodular structure so now what has to be done for this situation so we are working on a situation which looks to me a cancer of prostate but remember in medicine in real practices there is nothing looks to me we need to practice evidence based medicine so for that we need to look into different factors but before that why are we suspecting because prostatic cancer is most common solid malignancy in men and this is our second most common cancer after the lung cancer so an old aging men presenting with these things then it's been coming to my mind oh i'm dealing with somebody who's having a malignancy of the prostate this is my suspicion i'm not sure i have to prove it and it is a major health concern in developed countries why i wrote the word here developed countries because in the developed countries the quality of life is better than underdeveloped countries mostly people have long ages because of good quality of life so this is a disease of old people that's one of the factor which goes in this favor when we look up further so there are risk factors so what are these risk factors number 1 is increasing age i talked about then the ethnic origins so there are some ethnic relations which are very concerned and then the genetic predispositions so these are the factors which are connected to the risk factors now looking at it the symptoms of metastatic disease because this person is presenting with a backache along with weight loss so it's not a simple straight forward problem we all know the prostatic cancer present in the a problem in the peripheral zone of my prostate gland so it is this disease does not this these people does not present to you immediately it takes time when they present when they have backache and when you do a work up for the backache backache at that time you figure it out oh no it's not the simple problem of the backbone there is something there are some metastatic there are some hot areas which are really of concern so what what are the symptomatologies of the metastatic disease metastatic means the disease is not local the disease is not confined to the organ it has spread it has spread it in the neighborhood so bone pain we have this in our patient then the spinal cord compression 
N nothing mentioned about that, but we should we should look for it when we are performing an MR examination. Weight loss, yes, it's there in our case. Malaise, yeah, he's not feeling well. And anemia because it's a chronic and it's a cancer disease. So these are the possible symptoms of metastatic disease, which is related to my cancer of prostate. But still, I cannot say this is a cancer of prostate unless I have an evidence. Let's look into the venous drainage of the prostate gland. First of all, this is my prostate gland and we all know it is surrounded by a fine capsule which we call it a true capsule and then there is an outer condensation of the fascia and that makes my false capsule. And in between this true and false capsule, what do we have? We had a prostatic plexus of veins and now this prostatic plexus of veins it has been connected with the main venous system. Number one, let's look at it. This is, we are looking at the inferior vena cava and this is the urinary bladder and the prostate. And these are my two common iliac veins. And then we can see there are communication and we have a vesical plexus of veins which is being formed. And then this is going where? Towards the dorsal, deep dorsal vein of the penis. And through this, it is being poured into the internal iliac vein. This is first way of venous drainage of my prostate gland. Then the second option is that this prostatic plexus of veins is connected through a very special type of veins. These are valveless veins of Batson and they are connecting this prostatic plexus of veins with the vertebral plexus of veins and this channel may explain in this situation why our present why our patient present with the backache. So through these special valveless vertebral veins of Batson, the cancer cell has been migrated into the vertebral plexus of veins and through that it has gone to the vertebral spine and that might have become the reason for the backache. Looking further, how I'm saying this is a cancer, I need to evaluate this person. Evaluation primarily in the beginning, it depends on three factors. What are these three factors? Number one, digital rectal examination. You should have some hard nodular prostate, some foci of hardness and nodularity in the prostate. And then you should look for PSA levels. This will tell you and it's not even done. We need to have a tissue diagnosis. And then you, if you can find there's an adenocarcinoma. And then if it's a biopsy proven, then you can label this person. Oh, this I'm dealing with a person who has cancer of the prostate gland. And then we'll go for the staging, but I'll not be touching upon the staging. In this video, we'll be talking about it in the upcoming video where I'll be working on I'm working on an advanced presentation for the cancer of the prostate. So now what we'll do with these patients? The treatment entirely depends upon the level of the PSA, the grade of the cancer, the aggressiveness, and last but not the least, the stage, the extent. According to these factors, then we can plan. We have to figure it out. Is it a organ confined disease or it is a metastatic disease? So if it's an organ confined disease, the treatment plans are different. And if it is a metastatic disease, we have different treatment plans. Thank you for sparing your time.